Now it's time to press buttons and talk with Maggie and Rosie D. DL6. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Oh. Right before my eyes. He was shot and killed, and I saw it all. Hmm. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder. Correct. Um, that spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean your... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now, this. About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago, on December 28th. December 28th? The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. What? Um, Nick, what the fuck is a statute of limitations? When a case's statute of limitations runs out, legally that case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed. Forever. Oh, shit. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So, you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. I'd rather not talk about it. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, you know, a prosecuting attorney is like kind of the opposite of doing yeah, that. Yeah, so we kind of messed that up. Him something? Like, well, he we already him showed this. him this. I, yeah, but things you, have how many times now. are you going to show me this? Okay. Just we'll get out of there. It just feels like that should have been like a longer conversation. Uh, let's check all the places until check something... Check all the places in hey, a it's row. the Plick Department, Criminal Affairs. Welcome. What's going on here? Eek. What's wrong, Detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago. Says she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Ryan had to say. What's this all about, pal? Lot of heart. My worst enemy. <laughs> Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth a death sentence, pal? N no, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Uh, you're trying to say something about the way I do my job? Yeah, you're kind of bad at it. What? No, sir. Hey, a lot of testimony. What the fuck did she say? So, what did Ms. Hart say? She says she saw Mr. Edgeworth fire the pistol. God damn it. <laughs> Shit. What? <laughs> She even had a uh, she even had a photograph to prove it. Right, I saw it too. But you really can't tell from the photo who is shooting. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. She said, "It'll drop the quality of mine, but you'll let us see who's who." She can do that? Okay, so there's going to be an enlarged photograph that shows Edgeworth in the act. Oh, like enhanced, like CSI style. Yeah, like, right. Yeah. Which totally works like that. Great, just great. They enlarge. They just enlarge. It's just Edward giving a thumbs up to the camera. <laughs> I'm murder. I'm killing him. Bingo. The bingo. In any case, she's going to be the one testifying tomorrow. Huh? What happened to the other witness? Oh, he died. Well, apparently there was a cancellation. Y you can't just cancel. Like, I don't want to do it. A cancellation. Wait, let's talk about tomorrow's trial. I'm afraid tomorrow is going to be life or death for poor Mr. Edgeworth. We got a witness who says she saw the very moment of the murder. And we got a photo taken when the shot rang out. I'd say that sounds like a pretty unwinnable case. But wait, what did Mia used to say? If he's innocent, there's got to be something I've overlooked. Huh. Well, anyway. It sounds like Mr. Edgeworth is going to ask the state to assign a public defender. I was just asked to file the paperwork. 
But you still got time, pal. Go talk to him again, for me, please. You have to convince him. You have to make him let you defend him, please. I know you're the only one who can do it, pal. You're the only one who can save Mr. Edgeworth. Okay, big. Okay, Jeez, well, I'm going. Come I'm on, going right pal. Now. I beg of you. Edgeworth, Gumshoe said. Show him the badge. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll do that again because we can't just like talk to him. Your attorney's badge. I can't say I really want to see one of those right now. No, nope. you being, little. I just being, being all moody. About... Let me be your lawyer, you little fuck. Okay, I guess. Maybe Grossberg. Grossberg. Now that do we you talk have to Edgy. To... No, you're still being gross. <laughs> I'm just Ooh, here. I'm, I'm happy. What the fuck? Why what can't the, we go back to the park? We can't do that from here, though. We have to go to the detention center first. Of course. Then go to the park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good game. <laughs> You know, let's check the, maybe the boat shot because nothing's happened there for yeah. a while. Yeah. Yes. Get, get out of here as quickly so as possible. So many gross people just standing in our way, like obstacles. Nope. Steal a boat, Reynolds. Try I the, guess try a lot of hearts gonna be like, yeah, it. I testified. Yeehaw. This sure is like a bunk rat. Nope. In a, let's go back to the office. What the fucking hell? <laughs> okay. Cool. Maya, why are we? Stop leading me to these places. I'm just waiting for something to happen. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> no, listen, Nick, it's gonna trigger the event. She just like stands silently in front of Larry and sees if he says <laughs> anything. Nope. Nope. Okay, what I don't... What the fuck? Okay, right. I guess, uh... Go back to... Maybe Grossberg has something to say? Uh... Or maybe Gumshoe... Maybe I need to present something to Gumshoe. Okay, I guess I I'll present something to, present... to Gumshoe. Okay. We'll go back to... Alright. Uh, but I no. can't go there first again. Oh, yeah, go you, you gotta go there first. first. <laughs> and I gotta go over to Gumshoe, because he's in the Criminal Affairs Department, which is connected to the detention center, because I can't just fucking... Hey, Gumshoe, uh, look at this lady. Hey, pal, there's only one thing I want to see from you, and that's a letter of request from Mr. Edward well, for you to be... Well, I can't fucking get there right now. Uh... Jesus Christ. Um... Lake photo? No, it must no. be Edgeworth, because he won't do anything until... Okay, I guess we'll just run over here. We the gotta test. convince this idiot. Done a lot of walking today. You okay. Look, you look winded, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've got like five things okay. here. We, did we do Misty Fay uh, already? Yes. Oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth. I've tried every other possibility. Please say something about this photo. Did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I think you did it. I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, no. So, you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. He's right. Bull it's fucking bullshit, he totally did. I did- Bagel Cop, shut your mouth. <laughs> bagel Cop, you sting out of this <laughs> work. Hmm? It pains me to ask you this now. I know! You want us to defend you! Yes. Will you? Nah! Yeah. Of course we will. Ah, who could have guessed this day would come? Okay, not me. <laughs> this is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever, ever doing anything for you. Never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. Huh. My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Edgeworth's request put in the pocket. Well, I guess we should. Huh? What's that? A earthquake! Nick! It's a big one! Whoa! It's, it's coming down. Whew! That was scary. Hmm. Huh? Where's Edgeworth? Did you just burrow a hole in the now ground? Now I think he really like is crouching on, like, under the chair. Oh, yeah. There. He's on the floor in a ball, shivering. I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball. Well, I guess we're done, and so is Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. <laughs> Let's go, Nick. Uh, right. We have to give Edgeworth letter of request to... Well, thanks for telling us this time. We have to give Edgeworth letter of request to Detective This Gumshoe. game sure is easy. We must go to the Criminal Affairs Department. Hello, Gansho. I have a present for you. Look at this. It's an Ashworth's request. Look what I got. Hey, you <laughs> did it, pal. I'm getting heavy. Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. He's just like, and then I'm gonna just walk over here. <laughs> what are you doing, Edgeworth? <laughs> I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, Detective. 
Well, see you in court tomorrow then. Good luck, pal. Hey, <laughs> hey. You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Uh, oh, I wasn't worried about you two. Oh, well, thanks. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm gonna go check on him. Aw. Can we get him some graham crackers? You two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's try. Aw, thanks, Dad. Later. <laughs> I want to see more intimate moments between Gumshoe and Edgeworth. This is what they do on their time off. God, who's my dad? <laughs> I wonder what it, what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. Must have been something that happened between school times and now. I like when the first time it happens, though, it just feels completely out of place. You're like, what? Yeah, it's like, oh, I wish that more games just did random events like that that had no bearing on anything. It's like, oh, it's raining outside. Anyway, let's have our conversation. And then again, I was only in the same class as him for fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. To, well, his dad died, first yeah. of all. He went to Presbyton's Academy for Elegant Young Minds. Did you say Press Buttons Academy? Presbyton's. Presbyton's Academy. Presbyton's, Presbyton's Academy. Presbyton's Academy for, for Elegant Eloquent young Speech. December 26, 9.44 a.m. District Court defendant lobby number two, not number one. Can't believe I wasted my Christmas. Karma? Oh, wait. That's right. Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40-year career. He is a god of prosecution right. A god. Not a single case? That's he'll, fucked up. He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Like me. Hmm. Sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. <laughs> well, kind of like, like you. Okay, you don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. He ate a man once. Yes. That's quite a- I'm not- that's not even a joke, he did. <laughs> it happened in court, we were all very shocked. <laughs> I'm just picturing like a big muscly, like, dragged <laughs> You may think this is an elaborate exaggeration, but he consumed a human being <laughs> before everybody. You know, I believe it. <laughs> yeah. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. He taught me what it really means to prosecute. But what? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, Multiplied by a factor of ten. He's just a very large Edward. <laughs> Ugh. Hello! <laughs> it's it's like, I... He has like crouched down to like... Giant Edgeworth! So, so he was your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep! Oh, wait. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years. He's as ruthless as me, times 20. Yeah! Uh, oh! <laughs> because I'm 20 times your size! Uh, oh! That's pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. I guess that's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia... Um, Maya! Uh-huh. We could really be using Mia's help right now instead of you, don't you think? Oh. Hmm? I can't. Sorry. I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach. She's a little busy right now. You couldn't reach. I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Oh, man. What bad timing. I'm really sorry. I'll try my best. I hope so. What are you whispering about? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Well, it's time. Let's head in. Okay, okay, wow. Well. December 26, 10 o'clock a.m. Oh, turnabout Who's combined. that? Yeah, this weird looking man. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Um, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Fool. You seriously think that I would stand here were I not completely prepared? Right, m my apologies. I forgot you were such a douche. <laughs> <laughs> He's even got the judge scared. Now, when you played the game, did you think Von Karma had a German accent? Um, I don't 
think the first time I played, I like because Anne Marie thought that, but I was oh, like, really? he doesn't. But he doesn't have an axe. You don't find out about. Well, I guess Von Karma is like. Yeah, I guess, but I don't know. To me, uh, I was like, because he doesn't talk with one. His voice yeah, clip isn't one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I just thought that was interesting. Hmm. Very well, your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Ah, uh, nothing, of course. That should be fine. Guilty. Guilty. <laughs> the prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? Yes, I am King Von Karma. How am I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in charge of this case, Detective Dick Gumshoe. That's what we all call him. <laughs> okay, Gumshoe. <laughs> I have this name for him. I, I call I, him well, Dick I, I, Gumshoe. I, I call him this sometimes. On occasion, I call him Dick. But that's my special name for him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I call him that sometimes. Okay, Gumshoe's first. That was Let's... fucking like airplane. <laughs> yeah, man. On top of my game, what up? No, Let's take a water break life. for that. It's next episode time. I, ah, okay. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I was so. like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, next episode, press buttons and talk. We'll break into this trial. Okay. <laughs>